Hey everyone, Holden here to touch on what we saw from the Madden Classic in terms of one of the hardest things to do year in and year out in Madden, which is scoring touchdowns in the red zone. With a condensed field and most players keying in on the run, thus forcing you to make a tight read through the air, it is no surprise that points are very hard to come by. Let's take a look at how some of the most successful players in the red zone from the Madden Classic were able to get it done. First, let's take a look at Drini, who throughout his run to the Elite Eight was scoring touchdowns in the red zone at a rate of a little over 60%. In his round of 16 match against Young Dog, he found himself with first and goal at the five yard line. Running the New Orleans offensive playbook, he came out in his gun Y off trio weak formation and went with the play Saints outs. Now, a sneaky move by Drini can be recognized pre snap. Dwayne Allen is in at tight end, and Gronk has been flexed out wide right by himself. Now, players like Drini do not generally make these changes for no reason. It could be that he has a play to isolate Gronk, or it could simply be a decoy scenario. As he snaps the ball, we can see the play develop and Young Dog defends with his user against what most players like to do in the red zone, which is throw a high point pass in the deep middle of the end zone. Drini indeed does have a post route breaking over the middle, which will be guarded by Young Dog, but on the far right, he has Gronk posting up in the back corner on a curl route. With the defense in what looks to be a cover 4 look, Gronk finds a soft spot for a high point between the outside corner and strong safety. Drini throws the high point, and Desmond Trufant is no match to go up and contest a jump ball to Gronk, resulting in a touchdown for Drini. Later in the same game, Drini finds himself in a very similar scenario with the goal to go situation at the 6 yard line. He comes out in the same formation as before, while Young Dog also comes out in a 3-4 defense just like last time. The ball is snapped and we can see Drini is in the same play while Young Dog has made some adjustments. He opted to press the outside receivers and man them up. This will not only throw off their route timing, but also assure a man is at least in their vicinity to try and take away any jump ball opportunities. He once again uses the post route over the middle of the field, but this time Drini is able to find a wide open Dwayne Allen in the left flat for a touchdown. With all of Young Dog's attention being brought to defending potential high point passes all over the field, he was unable to recognize that his outside linebacker drifted out over the slot receiver unlike last time. This caused him to jam the slot at the line, allowing Allen a free release to the flat for an easy read and a touchdown for Drini. Last but not least, this final example is going to be from Hollywood's round of 16 matchup with Clef. Holly was rather efficient in the red zone, but I feel like this example is a great snapshot of what makes a great red zone play. He is running the Bucks playbook and comes out in the familiar gun bunch where he calls verticals. This has long been one of the go-to red zone plays in the community, and a lot of it has to do with the double wheel routes from the bunch side. In this case, Clef loads up the box with a nickel look and his over aggressiveness costs him. Looking eager to jump anything quick to the flat, his user over pursues to the outside and allows Tyreek Hill to slip to the inside on a deep crossing route. Clef actually sees this and tries to react, putting himself back into solid position to make a play on the ball. But with Hollywood being a savvy veteran, he goes with the high point pass so that Clef cannot get there in time, resulting in a touchdown. This play is tough because it can put the defensive user in a bind in terms of covering the crosser over the middle or the tight end wheeling up the seam, with both being prime high point options in the red zone. As the Madden season goes on, more and more creative ways are designed to get 7 points in the red zone. Be sure to tune in for the second major tournament with the club championship live finals taking place on January 30th.